This weekend we have a chance uh, to be part, you have a chance to be part of a great event. It honors people who help women love who they are in every shape and size as they come along. I'm honored to be taking part in this event. It's called the Celebration of Life 2016. It benefits the Kirsten Haglin Foundation. And she is with us this morning, Miss America 2008, Miss Michigan 2007. It is good to see you again. Thank you. It's so great to be here. Thanks for having me. How are you? I'm doing so well. It's yeah. so good to be back in Detroit. Yep. Good. So your folks are all right? Yeah. They're great. Yeah. They were so thrilled to be able to welcome me home. And my dad works downtown, so I think after this we're going to go over and surprise him and say hello. Oh, cool. That's great. So, yeah. yeah. That's great. So tell us about the event that's happening this weekend and what, tell us more about your cause as well because it sounds great to me. Sure. Yeah. Thank you so much. Well, we're so excited to have Chuck Gatica be there to oh help gosh. host the evening. Um, it's this Saturday, April 23rd at Showplace Center. At 6.30 p.m. we start and it's a dinner, a silent auction, um, and a program that aims to celebrate life uh, and raise money for eating disorders treatment. So I started my foundation in 2009 after my years Miss America. Mm -hmm. Eating disorders was my platform. I personally struggled and recovered due to the great eating disorder community here in Metro Detroit that mm -hmm. helped me. Um, and I saw there was just a really great financial need uh, for families that were struggling, but also, you know, to raise awareness. And there's a lot of stigma surrounding eating disorders and body image issues and all of that. Um, and just really trying to so get people together, raise money for treatment, and also to you know, bring people together to celebrate hope. That there is life after eating disorders. People do recover, they get mm -hmm. better, and they go on to live healthy, full, productive lives. You know, Absolutely. it doesn't have to be something you struggle with for the rest of your life. This has affected some women in my wife's family, mm -hmm. and so we understand some of it. But now, when you're in a pageant, mm -hmm. when you're seeing um, model people in the modeling business, this is something we hear about on the outside that it permeates that culture. Did you see that more than you thought? Not just your own struggles, but. Yeah, I, well, and I struggled. I was uh, a ballet dancer growing okay. up, so that also is a, an environment with a very thin body ideal, mm -hmm. pageants as well. And now I live in New York City, and there's tons of entertainment sure. industry there, models, et cetera. But you are seeing a grassroots movement of young people. You know, it's really driven by young men and young women that are saying, we don't need to look in one certain way. We don't have to yeah. have one certain body ideal in order to be considered beautiful, in order to be considered worth something, and have something to offer this world. So I think you're seeing that body ideal change. Change, as more people are saying, you know, my value comes from who I am on the inside, not mm -hmm. who I am on the outside. I couldn't agree with you more, and I think that that's something that women struggle with <laughs> all ages. Hugely, at all <laughs> ages. And, and this is a beautiful thing. Just love yourself the way that God created you and work with what you've got. But Absolutely. this is the interesting thing about eating disorders because, you know, if someone maybe smoked cigarettes or had problems with alcohol, you could just avoid that. You cannot avoid food. <laughs> no. Right? right. You, you, you can, can never be like, oh, I just swear off food. Yeah, you can't avoid those ice cream pizzas. Right. <laughs> right. Exactly. Right. The right. They're fun to talk about, but then right. it gets to be real stuff when right. you have a well, disorder. Uh, moderation and balance is right. key, right? We can't yeah. be in this, you know, overindulgence and then punishing ourselves, you know, right. let's enjoy life, except, you know, that there's ice cream pizza in the world, and then there's days where, you know, you make sure you eat your vegetables, you know, but moderation and balance, acceptance, and also that helps you accept other people as well, because, you know, it's a hard, you know, there's, you know, ups and downs in life and challenges, but the more we can be accepting of other people and what they're going through, then, you know, we can also have that same acceptance and, and right. love for ourselves. So it's not every day we get to be with a former Miss America, but we want to know some of the inside <laughs> baseball, right? Yeah. Because oh, you yeah, may sure, remember, sure. I missed out on <laughs> Mr. Wine. 87 by like that oh, much. Oh, wow. yeah. So, Oh, tell us, like, what's the behind the scenes? <laughs> what? It's not funny. I'm what's sorry. The, what's the behind the scenes, uh, like, things we would have, we don't know, misconceptions about a pageant. What's yeah. the inside baseball? You know, I think that a lot of people think that pageant girls are really nasty and catty and you don't become friends, you hate one another. But the truth is, is that some of my best friends to this day I met during competing in the Miss America organization. No kidding. Mm. Yes, absolutely. I mean, we continue to hang out. We are good friends. We work together. I mean, those, you really become like a sisterhood. Yeah. In New York City the other day, I just had had a lunch with four other former Miss Americas that we were all in town. We all commiserated, and you know, what are you doing now? And you know, no, because no one understands what that's like. Mm -hmm. um, and so there really is a special bond there. And these women are incredibly intelligent. They're doctors, they're lawyers, they're politicians. You know, they have yeah. master's degrees and beyond. I mean, these are really incredible women. All right, one more time for the event. If people would like to come out or participate and help your foundation, yes, they can go to KirstenHaglandFoundation.org. Okay. You can still register there to buy tickets. And of course, if you're not able to make it, um, we'd love to hear from you. Uh, we're always accepting donations for those scholarships to give people a second chance at life. So any way you want to be involved, KirstenHaglandFoundation.org. We hope to see you Saturday. All right, That's great. great. I'm honored to be part of it. We'll have it up on our Facebook page so That's people great. can find out more. And I just wanted to say, while I'm sitting here between these women, don't hate us because we're beautiful. Don't. <laughs>
<laughs> it's, your, huh? it's, it's so hard. I love it's it's yeah. hard to sit yeah. next to all of this every I day. Know, it's it's you so gorgeous. Will you yeah. stick around? Will you help us with one of our segments? I would love to. Beautiful. Awesome. Nice to have you here. Thank you.